Welcome to Wildlife Wednesday. So when I was digging in my garden this weekend, I accidentally dug up this thing. And when I sent pictures of it to my friends and family and asked them what they thought it was, the three things they guessed were a chrysalis, a pupa, and a cocoon. So which one is it? And what is the difference between these three things? Let's break it down. A pupa is a life stage of insects that go through complete metamorphosis. Insects that go through complete metamorphosis go from an egg to a larva that looks very different from the adult to a pupa and finally to the adult. Butterflies are a classic example of complete metamorphosis. So insects that go through incomplete metamorphosis, like a grasshopper, for example, does not have a pupa. They go from egg to different sizes of nymphs that look just like the adult and finally the adult stage. Now let's define a chrysalis. Chrysalis is a term that is used specifically for a butterfly pupa. Butterfly caterpillars will usually hang their chrysalis from a leaf or a twig. And last but not least, what is a cocoon? So a lot of people mistakenly call a butterfly chrysalis a cocoon. A cocoon is actually a silk covering that a lot of insects weave to protect their pupa when it's in this vulnerable state. So insects like moths will weave a cocoon. So in conclusion, because I found this in the ground and not hanging from a leaf or a branch like a butterfly chrysalis would, and because it doesn't look like a silky covering or cocoon, I conclude that this is a pupa. And if I go and bury it back in my garden, it'll probably stay there all winter long. And in the spring, a moth should emerge. So thank you for coming to Wildlife Wednesday and we'll see you next week.